that's so cool. Hope you liked it. On my channel, we have a lot of Masti and Story. Let's start the video. But before starting the video, I answered the question that I asked in my last video. I hope you watched my first video, video which had the review on my. Hey, if you have not not watched my video. That was so intelligent part. So that is now the time for my computer class. So today I am learning computer. So come join me. What are you making today part? I am making a scenery of a house, river and the sun. Wow. Great. Alright, start. So you want to tell your friends how to how you're making it? Okay, so what have you started first? So you opened the paintbrush and then so you choose yellow color with the mouse. Okay, and then so what will you make with the yellow color? Oh, so you've, you've chosen a circle and you made a sun. That's so beautiful. Wow, that's a sun. Wow, what a thought part. Oh, you go to the colors and you select the colors of the circle. And now you're making the rays. Excellent. So you know how to delete this image also? Wow! Oh, you've deleted this and you're making changes in it. Oh, what is this? Super part. mountain and the sun so now you make the river okay Wow, that's a great house and a river and a mountain and a sunset park. That's so beautiful. Now I am saving this. That's a beautiful drawing part.
family. Every day, he would go to the forest to cut the trees. One day, as usual, he was cutting logs in the forest. He saw a group of horsemen coming towards him. From their appearance, he could make out that they were thieves. How many people there? Heavy sacks on their back. The leader of the thieves went near a big rock and said, "Open, Osirisin, open." As soon as he said those words, the big rock opened. The rock was a door to a dark cave. All the thieves entered the cave. The rock moved a little. It must be right. Movies, games, stories. After a while, the computer the classes. Again, and all the thieves came out empty-handed. This time, the leader said, "Close the Simpson close." That's it. Password to lock the door. Closed again. Thieves climbed upon their horses and went away. Alibaba climbed down the tree and went near the rock. He said, "Open the sensor and open." The door opened, and Ali Baba entered the cave. He was surprised to see what was inside the cave. He couldn't believe his eyes. There were piles of gold coins, pots full of diamonds, precious stones, and beautiful jewelry. There is so much. If I take some, the thieves won't even notice it. He picked up the empty sun, whatever he could. He came out of the cave and said the magic words: "Close the sensor, close." To close the rock. That's the bus. Sat on his donkey and went home with a bag full of treasure. See, they were so smart in the smart in those days also. They had passwords for doors. He showed it to his wife. Like Amazon, voice operated logs. Where did you get it from? My mama said it's difficult to count so many coins. Go to my brother's place and ask him for a weighing scale. His wife went to Castle and asked him for a weighing scale. Why do you need the weighing scale? I want to weigh some rice. Apply a little glue on the bottom of the scale. Gold, you know, and 
He's if you fool them. He dragged all the sacks to the door, but unfortunately, he forgot the magic words. Forgot the password. Many combinations of words, but in vain. He was trapped inside. Thieves, forty thieves would beat him up. They saw Kasim's donkeys. They got suspicious. They entered the cave and have killed Kasim with a sword. Oh, so he was the fool who was stealing our treasure? When Kasim didn't return home at night, his wife went to Ali Baba to inquire about him. He must have gone to the cave. Don't worry, I will go and look for him. He went to the cave and saw his brother's donkeys. Open the Simpson open. And saw that someone had killed his brother. He carried his brother on his back and went home. Kasim's wife started crying. That's Ali when Baba, you become greedy. His wife and Kasim's wife buried Kasim's body behind their house. You should not become the greedy. Next day, when the thieves returned to their cave, they found Kasim's body missing. They came to know that someone else was also aware about their treasure. Now they will find out who is taking his body out. find out who else knows about this. Visit each and every house and find out who died recently. One of the thief visited Kasim's house. He found out that Kasim had died recently. The thief asked one of the villagers if Kasim had any close family. The villager said he has a younger brother named Ali Baba. And he became rich overnight. And they'll beat him up they now, but the leader and told him everything. They decided to teach Ali Baba a lesson. The leader dressed as an oil merchant and went to the village. Donkeys and 40 barrels. He filled one barrel with oil. He asked his men to hide inside the remaining barrels. At night, all of them went to Ali Baba's house. Forty people. Oh my God! I am an oil merchant. I am traveling to another city, but it's too late. I am looking for a place to spend the night. Ali Baba welcomed him. He told the leader to keep the oil barrels in the backyard. He offered him food and a place to sleep. Ali Baba was passing by oh, the backyard. Oh, scary! Are you liking the story part? She heard someone say, Is it the time to attack? She was a sharp-minded woman. She counted the barrels. They were 40. Oh she realized that only one barrel contains oil. And the thieves are hiding in the rest of the barrels. The one who pretends to be the oil merchant must be their leader. She immediately He killed 48 thieves. This morning, Ali Baba's wife told him about everything. Ali Baba and his wife threw all the battles in the red. Ali Baba so and his family lived a happy and rich life. So what do you learn out of this story part? And how was the story part?